Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing you to the drop list for this week, which is week three of the full winter season. Apologies for any background noise or anything that goes on during this, but yeah. Uh, I'm recording this a little bit late compared to normal. Uh, I was going to record this pretty much when I saw it, but then I thought, do I really want to put a video out early morning? Not particularly. Do I want to put one out in the afternoon? Not really. So let's just chill. It's the evening. Let's go with that, and yeah, that's about it. I do have a video, uh, hopefully, uh, for tomorrow, which is really simple in the end, so why I'm saying hopefully, I don't know. But regardless, let's get into this list for this week. It's going to be plain and simple, and yeah, I might uh, on it, but we'll see. So yeah. Okay, so let's get into this week. Obviously, we've got a collaboration this week, which people aren't really looking forward to. Uh, I'm on that side. I mean, it is uh, quite clean, all the pieces are quite clean, but I'm not really a fan of them in general, so we'll get onto them in a second. But, as per norm, we're going to be kicking off this list with an accessory, which will probably be the main, uh, like, theme, I suppose, for this season in the end. Now, we're going to be kicking off with the Famimo? Famemo? Pocket Printer. Here's the thing, standard retail is about £34 to £39, maybe even £40, £41. That's it, that's, about, that's, that's the ceiling. Supreme, I'm expecting, since it's them, like £55, £58, £52 would be lucky, but it's Supreme, so just keep that in mind. I do think it is a cool thing, because it uh, should be Bluetooth-like accessible, so you can, you know, picture, print. There it is, done. Charge people outside the Supreme store for a photo of them, maybe. You know, £5 a photo, something like that. Just saying. I've said it before. You know, you could go to one of the stores with uh, some of the previous items. Take a photo, have it, charge them for it. Buy more of what you need for it. Keep going. Just saying. But yeah, if it is like £50, you know, I'm, I'm good. At the end of the day, it is cool, but there's there's a limit to my stupidity when it comes to buying things uh, that I will probably never use. So yeah, there's there's a there's a ceiling to that as well. But let's get into the next piece, which is going to be the Gons name tag short sleeve top. I like this piece, but more so for the Gons handwriting. Like, let's just be honest. I wish that they had just done this uh, with the original things. I don't know where they are. I've got them somewhere. But I wish that they had just let Gons do that and then just printed them out as such and just had a load of different designs and different things on them. But yeah, uh, when it comes to this tee, I think it's cool they've put it on there. I really like the front three colorways, but in general, it's not really that big of a design. And yeah, it's going to be like 58, 68 pounds. So it's not really worth it. Next up, we've got a small box crew neck. Uh, it's quite standard, but I do actually like this sort of color or design that they've gone for with this piece specifically. I think it's quite cool. Just realized they almost look like uh, little, like uh, like clothes hanger, not clothes hanger, but you know what I mean? Uh, when you put your clothes up outside, to, like a washing line sort of clips, I guess. That's what they look like now, and I can't get that image out of my head. But yeah, uh, I like the color and everything to it. So yeah. Following that up, we've got the Dub Spinner Ribs. I don't know what these are going to cost, realistically uh but they're cool you know if someone's got that supreme car that they they did or made then you put these on them as well but what's the retail going to be probably quite high so it's your choice at the end of the day if you're going to be going for it or not so yeah we then have the eyes hooded sweatshirt or eyes hoodie uh i was a big fan of this piece and the embroidery and the front colorway specifically. The only thing is that somebody said, which I sort of was getting hints of anyway, is that it really reminds us of No Fear. Like there's a specific piece that someone put earlier and it's like, it, it's No Fear, it's No Fear. Like if we go on, it, it's No Fear, it's No Fear. Like, yeah, it's just a cooler version of a No Fear, but it, yeah, like I used to wear No Fear all the time. God, <laughs> but I do uh, really like uh, just how they've changed the colors throughout uh, the design with different colorways and then the front gray. I really like this dark gray that they've gone with this season. So we then have a waxed uh, cotton camp cap. I mean, it's all right. I like the green and the lilac and the black, but that's about it. So we'll move on to the military camp cap, which has that like digi sort of camo design to it. It's all right. It's nothing crazy. So yeah, we move straight on to the uh, bridge embroidered short sleeve top, which I actually really liked. Uh, obviously you've got the Statue of Liberty in the background. It's all embroidered. 
obviously, and yeah, I think it's quite cool. I don't know which colorway I like more. I think that the white colorway has a bit more of a simplistic look to it, which might like complement it. Uh, whereas the more like rugged, loud color of this, I don't know. It's got quite like Gundam colors as well going along it, but I like the Supreme they've put there and on the uh, subway. Yeah, I think it's a really cool piece overall. So, yeah. We then have the track paneled zip up uh, hoodie. I'm not really a zip up person, like I said. Like, there are limits to what I wear in terms of, I would say, their weight and what their material is like. And I went off the sort of zip up hoodie side and more so to like jackets and things or onto jackets just because it was just how I was feeling. Colorway choices, I think, are great. Other than that, not so much of a fan of it. So, yeah just purely because I don't like zip ups anymore. That's it, that's genuinely it. I'm really like anti zip up. Like that's just how it is for me. I'm sorry, but it's just how it is. We then have a two-tone uh, fur shop coat. Yeah, <laughs> there's not much to say. I uh, mainly just like the black colorway. That's it, so we move on from that. Uh, we have the support unit uh, nylon ripstop jacket. Quite a different piece, quite cool. Uh, you've got a design, then you've got font or text to it, which I think is cool. It makes it stand out a bit more. Colorways where they've got like the design to it are okay. I'm not a, like a massive fan of sort of grid look to things, uh, I would say. But as an overall, I'm not like a hater of this piece or anything. I think it's all right. So yeah, to match the zip up hoodie, we have the track paneled sweatpant. Yeah, again, colorway choices I think are fine. I think the red's my least favorite. I think that the other three are perfectly fine and decent. But yeah, that red, I just don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. So yeah, then we just have the last couple of pieces where we have the plaid sleeve, long sleeve top. I don't know where they were going with this one. I really, really don't. I'm actually a fan of the purple and black. I will be honest, the olive is also quite nice, but I just can't get behind having all of it being one and then just all of a sudden having sleeves being plaid. Maybe if you know you couldn't wear something over the top to cover it. You could wear a gilet, maybe that would work. But no, no, no. Uh, we then have the Gore-Tex Tech Crusher. Quite a standard piece. It's got a load of pockets, which I really don't get people having hats like a, a pocket in your hat for me maybe if it's a stash on the inside of it but when it's on the outside to me it really doesn't click because somebody can genuinely just and it's gone that's it whatever was in there whatever you've got stored stashed in the pocket is gone whereas if it's like on the inside or something people aren't really going to realize it's there and they won't really have a reason to take it whereas if you've got a pocket and someone sees you like take it off put something in it's like a big sign just to say take me so we then have the pan uh, to match the jacket colorway choices are okay but like i said i'm not really a fan of the grid sort of look so i think that the colorways in general are completely fine and the way they've positioned things again perfectly fine i'm just not a fan of that if it didn't have that i think i'd like it a lot more but i just don't it looks like when you take a picture uh, of your monitor or of a screen and you get that weird like uh grid over the top that's just what this looks like so yeah to finish off the week we have the collaboration with the clark's original woven wallaby yeah i'm a bit hit and miss on it black colorway and pink sort of colorway or red i think are cool uh the colorway choices you know fine i just don't know how i feel about the gaps and everything in between it it's just yeah but black colorway i think really stands out and it's just nice and simple so yeah, but that is going to cover it anyway. That is the end of the drop list, obviously, for this week. As per normal, let me know what you're going for down below, what size, what colorway you're interested in, or whether you're going to be sleeping on this week. Personally, for me, if this is like above 50 pounds, I'm just going to sleep and I'll just show you the drop at the end of the day because, yeah, I, um, no, no, yeah, I, I'll probably just do that. So, yeah, uh, regardless, anyway, uh, I hope that you have a good day or a good rest of your day, what's left of it, uh, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.